it's been it's been so long sorry i just need to take a drink because i just had some ice cream and i know i know you don't need to tell me that i'm not meant to have dairy before record recording like i know that them stems the rules and i broke them so just excuse me Ooh, okay okay so um basically i couldn't record for so long because i had left my stuff my equipment because i'm cool like that i had left it in awfully in my parents house because that's usually where i record but i work in dublin so i was kind of hauling it up and down and up and down but i got sick of it so i decided to go on to thoman which is a website they're based in germany they do like instruments tech stuff everything that you need that you, i think I, they could possibly even do cameras i'm not 100 percent sure but like whether you're a musician or a recording person i don't know what the proper word for them is so i'm sorry um I go to film in it was great though because i got like uh, a lot some of you probably aren't going to understand what this is but i got a mic so it's just a usb mic whereas the other one i had it was kind of like connected to a little interface um and then i don't know if anyone noticed who was listening but I didn't have a pop filter so you could really hear like like certain words they kind of like I don't know if it worked now because I have the filter but especially if my mouth was kind of like like wet you can really hear it but not so much pop filter and for harsh words it's just better and easier so grand perfect can't bloody wait let's go um I also got, oh yeah, I also got a little stand because it was cute and it works so well, gee. So this episode is my normal people review. So just a little disclaimer. Um, I don't know what, how I managed to, but I accidentally watched like episode three first and then I realized I went back and watched episode one and two. So my analysis on episode three could be a bit like what the hell is going on because i did not know what the hell was going on because i've missed two episodes previous anyways right so i was kind of late to the normal people thing because i was just like oh i hate when people make a big hype over something and then like i'm just like oh now i don't want to watch it because there's been such a hype made about it and i know it's not going to be as good as the hype made it seem if that makes any sense uh, especially in regards to like um i don't like i don't mean this in a bad way but especially in regards to irish television or things made with irish actors like there are a few outliers that are good i'm just they're just not my vibe i just can't i can't get on board with them unfortunately but however i will do my review and honestly i had to write stuff down because i'm not going to be able to remember everything but i haven't even watched all of it i think i got to like episode six and i was like oh i'll come back to this and i haven't yet that was a couple weeks ago <laughs> i will eventually for the purposes of this podcast purely but look so obviously a disclaimer for anybody who hasn't watched it and wants to watch it i'm sorry I also just want to test something out. Hold on. Oh, okay. My mic works on both sides. Stunning. Um. Okay. So, my first point is I can't even remember really what happens. I think they start off in the school. Um. But why the hell is Connell like always watching? What's her face, Marianne or whatever her name is. Like he's always watching her and this is before they've like gotten together or anything like he's always has like a gawk at her i'm like if you're gonna gawk at her at least hit her up or something like you know that her that your sister works for her mom and works in her house so like you kind of know her because your sister knows her so like why is it so hard just to be like well what's the crack like it's kind of creepy how he just 
I ball in there all the time. Like, in my opinion, I would be like, mm, stop staring at me, please, thanks. Um, also, <laughs> why are they so mean to her in school? Like, like, she doesn't bother them. She just keeps herself. Like, I know, like, because I went to school in a country second school, there were times where people were just arseholes for no reason. But then again, like, a lot of the time, the people that they were picking on would kind of, like, react to it maybe not always in the best of ways in nearly a way that would further their meanness towards them like you're better off just ignore it like Marianne ignores it but then they keep at her like I don't really understand like she doesn't do anything all the only thing that I think that they would go after her for is because she's a bit outspoken like in class or whatever but she's smart like <sighs> Well, I'm assuming she's smart because she got into bloody Trinity. Like, well, you know, whatever. Uh, her family as well. Sorry. Her family are so harsh on her. Like, her mom is a bit of an asshole. Her brother is a complete and utter cunt. Like, I'm sorry. There is no need for him to be as much of an asshole to her as he is. Like, it's just unnecessary. Like, uh, she hasn't, like, <laughs> brought down all of society. Like, she's... She just gets in a little bit of trouble in school. I'm assuming that's why her mom's a bit like, ugh, Marianne to her. But I really don't understand why her brother is such an asshole. Like, maybe I will understand, like, the further in I get. But even, like, up to the what, episode six, I didn't get it. Like, maybe when she comes home from college to visit. Sorry, I don't want to be spoiling anything. <laughs> um... Yeah, like literally my next point on my notes here is brother is a cunt. <laughs> right, so back to Connell and Marianne. So I can't I really like I probably should have rewatched this before I did this review, but whatever. Um so they're getting on a bus to go somewhere. I can't really remember where. Um but he's sitting beside her on the bus. Why? No idea. Does he really talk to her? Can't remember. But like. I just feel like. There was nothing between them like. And then all of a sudden like. Like quick time. All of a sudden there's these like. Intense feelings and. Like. It, the only time where it became like. They would have had much interaction would have been like random stares and like small random conversations like and then all of a sudden they're like mm -hmm, hubba hubba to each other like I just don't get it like maybe that's just me but like when I was in a secondary school like if it was like a couple of random conversations and a random analysis of each other's character to each other I'd be like um I just see now this is where I'm reading my notes I'm like this could be possible that it's like some of my notes that I wrote down for episode one that was actually episode three but um my last one here is it's kind of bizarre how she went from like first kiss to sex like straight away like I just I didn't get that. And now I'm confusing myself because I don't know if it was episode one or episode three that it was in. But. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just confusing myself. Okay, I just need to go on my notes and go with it. Right, so. Episode two, I think, is from my notes, what I just was giving a little read there, is the day when it's like lashing rain and her brother leaves her out in the rain to walk to school um so he can pick up his friends and I'm fairly sure Connell sees her in the rain like why didn't he just pick her up like if you fancy her why are you gonna leave her walking in the rain and I think they had sex at this point as well but like why would you just like nab it you walk and get soaked on your way to school and then sit in school all wet all day like wh what <laughs> It was just bizarre, like, I wouldn't even do that to 
someone I would know fairly well. Like, I just picked him up in the car and be grand. Like, I'm going that way anyways. <laughs> uh, also, like, in their kissing scenes, there's a lot of, like... <sighs> and it's extremely annoying. Like, I can't. I can't cope with that. Um... But what I do, see, I did kind of be like very closed when I first started watching it. But the more I was like, look, I just kind of need to get over myself and just watch it and just get this whole like, oh, it's not going to be as good as everyone says it is out of my head. So I tried to do that for this episode. And the one thing I would say about like the character of Connell is that I love how, like, as, even though he's, like, you know, stereotypically Irish men, not very open with their feelings or emotions or everything, but he was always very open with her. Well, in episode two, anyways. Um, The sex scene was very intense, I must say, watching it, but I think it was good for something like that to be aired on Irish television because <laughs> it's just too I guess it did cause commotion which is the good thing for it because it got a lot more attention than I think it would have if it just had a stuck to you know your usual sex scene where you like that you'd see on television like you might see a slip of the nip and not much you wouldn't see much like you never do um so I did like that about it and I love the part where, like, Connell is, like, he is establishing, like, that her consent is important. It's like, it said it, he said it aloud, he checked, like, that this is okay. Instead of just assuming because she was, like, seemed up for it that it was going to happen. Which I did like, because just especially for the younger people watching it, like, it's such a good, um example to set because I like just thinking back there like I don't think there's any sex scene or many sex scenes even in many movies where like the consent is checked on both sides and it's like okay yeah you sure like there might be a few more now but definitely like when I was growing up I don't think there was ever um <laughs> when I was growing up I'm still second grown up <laughs> I don't think there is anything like like I think about like the only, when I was kind of younger, the only thing I would have really seen a sex scene would probably have been Glee. And even then, you know, it's not much, but there was never like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, it's fine if you don't, type thing in it. That's mad. Oh my God. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> but what I will say, even though I didn't understand their like sudden, like, okay, we're going to ride, blah, blah, blah together deep connection that just came out of literally thin air in like four conversations um was that you get to see the de- like snippets of their development of the relationship outside of school so like her going over to his I think it was predominantly her going over to his if my memory serves me right because maybe he went over to hers once or twice I can't exactly remember but whatever it was just nice to see like that it was a thing where they developed their relationship outside of school like it wasn't just solely dependent on when they seen themselves in school but on the flip side of that it annoys me that it's such a secret like why why like this isn't america this isn't like (laughs) the head cheerleader or quarterback going out with the geek of the school like this is usually like I just found myself in school there was maybe there was I just don't know there was never much of this hierarchy of like there was like like people who were popular and people who weren't but there was never really the not popular but I don't really know what the correct word is but I'm just gonna use popular because it just suits it better maybe just the people who are more used to being social I guess I don't really know what the correct word is anyways but um, even so, it never felt like to me like there was much of a hierarchy between like a popular girl going out with like an emo guy or a geeky guy or something like that. Like it just never, and if they did, it wouldn't be a secret like, and no one would give a shit. 
and I think that's what annoys me the most about it is that I know that if it was actually happening in real life nobody would give a shit nobody would care nobody would give a flying fuck if Connell was fucking Marianne in, the, in his house like no one cares maybe if they fancied Connell they'd be a bit like oh, fuck's sake but like that'd be it to be honest um or maybe I'm just like super accepting and chill and I don't see labels who knows um but on the topic sorry I just got a bit distracted (laughs) on the topic of keeping it secret like he they clearly like each other so why do you want to keep it a secret like and then there is a part where um he lets his friends like speak to her like he like he lets his friends take the piss out of her and then I don't know if it was in this episode or maybe it was episode three where like they're out I think it's meant to be some night out and he goes to like hold her hand or nearly goes to but then doesn't like fuck's sake man just grow a pair of balls and do it like like, why would you not stick up for your, the woman you're getting with, like, when you clearly like her, if your friends are taking the piss out of her, like, unnecessarily, obviously, if it was all good banter and crack, like, nah, I'll leave it out, but, just, they're, like, kind of bullying her a little bit, and he's just, like, silent as a lamb, like, I'd be fuming, I would be fuming if I was Marianne, and she's just, like, yeah okay whatever like oh i'd be snapping i would be raging i'd be like the fuck are you gonna let them talk to me like that who do you think you are big boy man that's to be fair i'd probably say something back to them as well but mm, who knows but then like i'm I was getting so into this when i wrote this so what did i say sometimes i feel like it's um, oh so what i wrote when i was watching it's like it feels it seems as though like his guilt over not standing up for her is what caused him to go back to her and then obviously the continuously going back to her intensifies his feelings like he's not doing it because he wants to he's doing it because he feels guilty over the fact that he can't fucking stand up for her and how to be like i hear lads leave it out like oh damn i was really getting into this philosophical and all that jazz but um yeah, actually, now that I read that, I'm like, you know, that's definitely it. This man was like, oh, I wish I'd stop picking on her. I feel guilty. Maybe I should go hang out with her and they ride or whatever. And His teenage brain can't cope. Can't bloody cope. I wonder if this is based off a real relationship that happened in year one school. I can't even remember her name or the book. That's so bad, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to, that was episode two in case I didn't introduce it. We're going to swiftly move on to episode a three um and this is just a very random observation right but so this like this series whatever you want to call it meant to be based in ireland i am like as the countryside somewhere i don't exactly know which countryside i can't remember if it was said or not but like definitely meant to be the countryside rural ireland grand but marianne's house it didn't seem very irish if you know what i mean like it looked more like a house you would see in an american movie or an american series i think it might have just been the whole kitchen vibe that was going on there like it just did not look like an i any irish home that i've ever been in and i've been in a good few i must say like just it it looked like something off like a pretty little liars set or gossip girl okay no not gossip girl (laughs) yep i actually i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with the pretty little liars one it kind of like gave me spencer hastings kitchen vibes mixed with hannah's kitchen i don't know why it just did not seem irish to me um however well, this is the night where they, they go out, okay? I think. In episode three. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 
oh, I have loads right now. Okay, I have loads right on this one. So I'll just keep going rather than trying to remember which episode it was. So what I think it was the nightclub one because um this is where I, I was writing down that I love how Connell and Karen were so nice to Marianne. Because, like, up until this, they've all been kind of ourselves to her now. I don't think many, like, many of the girls, like, I think probably Karen and Connell had said nothing to her at this point. Really. Um, although Connell was fucking saying things with other, other parts of his body. Oh. Um, but they were nice to her. And I think Marianne, oh, Marianne gets grabbed by some fella in the nightclub. And Connell is the only fella in that situation who doesn't defend your man who grabbed her. And I just like like that he had such an understanding and consideration for how Marianne felt about this situation. Like he didn't expect her to just be like, all right, and brush it off. You know, like if she was upset, he was letting her be upset. And that, um, oh, this annoyed me. Okay, this annoyed me a lot. So I can't remember what situation they're in. I think it's he brings her home from the night out or he's with her in the car and he tells her that he loves her right Connell tells Marianne that he loves her and then there's a a complete fucking 180 like literally a day or two later and asks Rachel to the depths like what sorry I would be oh I would go and I would slash Connell's tires like excuse me who do you think you are telling me you love me and then turn around and ask bloody fucking Rachel to the depths? What is this? I'm not like, like, I'm not playing hard to get and you're not supposed to be playing hard to get. You just told me you love me. You can't play hard to get after you did that. Like, I was snapping. I was bloody snapping. Also, sorry, I, I couldn't figure out where Marianne was meant to be from. Like, I couldn't. Was she meant to be Irish? Was she meant to be a culture? Was she meant to be dub? Like, I couldn't. Her accent was very confusing. Like, she says mum. She says cab. Like, it's mom or taxi. Like, fair enough if you want to say mum, grand. But, like, you don't say cab. Sorry, hon. You don't. It's a taxi. So, are you American? Are you English? Like, what's... I don't understand. Again, some of this stuff could be cleared up if I just watched the full thing. Um, and I will get there eventually, maybe. Who knows? Um, also, Connell's mom, she kind of has like a half Dublin, half Colchie accent. So I don't know if she was like, because she's like a single mom and it's Ireland. I'm thinking she lived up in Dublin, she got pregnant, didn't want to get sent to the Magdalene Laundry. So, oh no, she got pregnant in the country. Because well, they escaped to Dublin, not to the country. Escaped to Dublin then. And then when she was kind of old enough for it to be alright. And things kind of got over it. She moved back down to the country then. That would be my assumption. But sure, look. It could just be that your one was from Dublin was trying to do a culture accent. Or vice versa. Who knows? Ugh. Sorry, my legs just gone dead there. Um, I'm kind of confused as to where see th- this is definitely like my notes because I thought it was the first one but it was actually the third one I was a bit confused where they were living um it kind of seemed like the countryside but different Dublin accents were like peppered in and then but it like it kind of seemed like a Galway kind of countryside Galway kind of vibe but like look sure I don't know um and why I'm still like it kind of revisits the whole thing of him asking Rachel to the depths and I'm it just it, it makes me speak just like literally like you told this other girl that you love her like you told Marianne that you love her and then you literally turn around oh no he wasn't even weird when he told her I think he rang her or was this after I'm getting confused myself basically told Marianne he loves her then Asks Rachel to Debs, which is stupid. This is why men are stupid. This is why this whole men are trash is going around because men do bullshit like this. Like, if you love a girl or you like a girl, don't be a f- bloody asshole to her. Just be nice to her. Like, why is it so hard to like 
be nice to a girl that you have feelings for. Like, I don't understand. I, I don't, like. I don't get it. It'd be like saying that, like, you love your family, but then you insult them in every opportunity you can, like. But, like, not, like, the slagging insulting, but, ugh. Don't even get me started. I could go on a whole tangent. But if a fella... No, not even that. If I told somebody that I love them, I am going to be as nice to that person as I can and do what I can for them because I love them and I care about them. Not tell them that I love them. And usually, like, Deb's kind of there. If you're in a relationship where you're seeing someone, stereotypically, you bring that person with you. So if he loves her, why did he bring Rachel? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I also know it's not real, so don't get on to me about that. Um, also, it's totally random, but Marianne, she starts crying for one of the scenes. And she's like crying in her bed. And just I just found the way she was crying, like, just so bizarre. Like, it didn't look comfortable. Like, she was just... I don't know. If, when I'm crying in my bed, I want to be comfortable. I want to be, like, oh, wrapped up away from the world. And then I'll have my cry. Like, she just did not seem comfortable in her crying. And that could have been the acting. I'm not too sure. I don't want to be dissing anybody, but... Um, yeah, it just seemed very bizarre. It looked very uncomfortable. Like, it wasn't uncomfortable to watch. She just looked uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Um, love Marianne. Not Marianne. Ooh. Love Connell's mom. She's a legend. She is an absolute legend. Like, she, I think every, like, fella needs a mom like Connell's mom. Who, when they're being an absolute arsehole to a girl, calls them out on their bullshit. Like, I was like, yes, bitch, yes, bitch. I feel bad now that I can't remember her name. Yeah. I feel bad. Anyways. um, I'm confused why his mom works at Marianne's as well. Like, I understand what her job is, but... Maybe he just pays well, I guess. But, like, there could be plenty of other places you could work. In fairness. Um, and I'm assuming that... Uh, like, at the end of this episode, I think it's after the whole Debs thing and everything, where Connell brings Rachel and just doesn't bring Marianne, so Marianne's upset and blah 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 that she stops I think she stops going to school like it wasn't really shown too clearly but um she goes to school in her normal clothes to take the exams I was like mm, I feel like even though you kind of technically left you still have to wear a uniform because you did used to go there and I doubt they can just pull your name out because it was so close to the exams so they could just be like mm, yeah nope like I don't think that's how it works I just found that bizarre but um yeah like this really seems like I'm bashing Marianne and love Connell but look it'll probably change in progress as I watch more episodes but like Connell as a male is just portrayed so well it's like portrayed as like the the kind of man that like most women want like the complete opposite to what a lot of men are and I don't mean that I don't mean to be bashing you there and like I think it's just, it's more of a societal thing that men are not told to be this way, but like, I don't want to get into like patriarchy and women being oppressed and blacks and gays, everything being oppressed. Like, I'm not going to get into that because there's just no point. There is no point. Like, if you are a man and you are not aware of your male privilege, there's no helping you. There is no point in communicating with you about it because you're just going to ignore it. Um, but I love his reaction to like the private pics of one of the fellas' girlfriends. So you're, I think they might actually be at the devs. They are. They're at the devs, and the women are dancing. And he shows him pictures of his like half naked girlfriend around his phone. And Connell's kind of like, "Why are you even showing that to me? Like that's your girlfriend. That should be kept to you. Like what are you even showing others? Like you freak." And I love that. That was like key lesson that some of these boyos need to learn around around the world okay they need to learn 
they got to learn. And them same men and boys who will be showing them to their friends are the exact ones who will be moaning at these girls on OnlyFans. Like, bro, if you're going to show them for free, at least, at least get her get, let her get paid. Like, And just um, a side note, this would be more on Paul Mescal than Connell himself. But um, when he he rings Marianne, leaves her voicemail. I'm pretty sure. And his his crying in that scene is just so good. I was like that. Like I would feel sorry for you if I seen you on the side of the road crying emotionally like that. I'd be like, here, petal. I'll give you a little cuddle. We'll make this all better. Like, what do you need me to do for you? I'll do it for you. It was so good. Very emotional. Very well done. Very very impressed. Right, so I think uh, will I do one more episode? Let me just check how many I have. I have four, five, six. Yeah, I literally went up to episode six. Yeah, no, because I've done one to three there, I'll do four to six. I do one to three, four to six, I'll give myself some time to watch some more, if even. I don't even know if I want to watch any more. But I feel like I kind of have to now. Because I've done and dedicated myself to this. And basically, in conclusion, don't really understand why they're assholes to Marianne. Don't understand why her families are... Families and assholes. Are families on this roof? Don't really understand why her family are assholes to her either. And Connell needs to grow up hairballs in like certain parts of his life. Like, this man can understand consent and have a good emotional cry and call out someone on being a, like, nasty fucker for showing everyone his girlfriend's nudes. <laughs> I, I can tell my he loves her, but, like, just can't <laughs> be with her in public. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. It seems like it's, like, the final stroke of the brush. Like, he's got everything else. Why can't you just have the balls to do that? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, Connell's mom is amazing. I would love her in my life. Um, I don't know if it's just me and I couldn't pick up on like some of the back plots, like where, where it was set, and because of the mix of the accents and the mix of the vernacular and stuff like that. So maybe that was on me. Who knows? We'll just blame me because it was received well so so my next one I will do episodes four to six that's it I've decided so I've done one two and three now I'll do four to six and then I'm gonna try aim for next week because oh honey I'm a busy busy gal uh but look it should be much quicker now that I have my little mic up here so thanks for listening (laughs) 